I'm Frank Darris, America's top insurance attorney. And today we're going to talk about ERISA insurance. ERISA stands for the Employee Retirement Income Security Act of 1974. For me, the acronym ERISA stands for Everything Rotten Invented Since Adam. Originally passed as trust law, ERISA was supposed to protect you and I from our employer ravaging our retirement benefits. Unfortunately, that law has been turned on its head. Today, it's a federal law that sets minimum standards for most voluntary established pensions, health plans, disability, and life insurance group plans. Now, many people and employees use ERISA to save for retirement through IRAs and 401ks. In fact, almost half, 48% of us, invest that money in the stock market. Under ERISA, retirees must exit the stock market at 70 and a half years old and withdraw at least the required minimum or risk losing 50% of their retirement account. It requires plans to provide participants with plan information, including plan features, funding fiduciary responsibilities for those who manage and control our plan assets, and it requires the plans to establish a fair grievance and appeals process for all of us to be able to get our benefits and give us the right to sue for those benefits if there's been a breach of fiduciary duty. Now, there have been a number of amendments and reforms to ERISA, supposed to help us with our health benefit plans, COBRA, or the Consolidated Omnibus Budget Reconciliation Act, was an amendment that provides some workers and their families the right to continue their health coverage for a limited time after certain events, such as the loss of a job or divorce. Much more familiar to most of us is HIPAA, the Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act that provides protections for us against discrimination for medical conditions. In general, ERISA doesn't cover health plans issued to a government, church, or to just two people in business. ERISA policies and the fine print have been highly debated over the last 10 or 15 years. Be very careful. If you get your insurance from your employer, you're covered under ERISA. It's a misnomer. You've lost your Seventh Amendment right to a trial by jury. You've lost the opportunity just to go down to the local courthouse and sue if you've been wrongfully denied. You can't get all the benefits. You can only sue for the back benefits. You might get attorney fees and you might get some interest. But did I mention there's no discovery under ERISA? You're never going to get deposed. Your doctor's never coming to trial to testify. Under ERISA, you have the right to one administrative appeal. Trust me, get a top ERISA attorney to help you with that administrative appeal because you have to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that the insurance company was wrong when they denied you. How in the world are you going to do that on your own? You need a top ERISA appeal lawyer to help you and make sure you meet those time frames under ERISA because if you're an hour late, it's too bad for you. You can make fatal mistakes when it comes to group ERISA long-term disability and group health and group life. So get some competent top help when it comes to ERISA. I'm Frank Darris, founding partner, Darris Law, Ontario, California.